All right, Capricorn, I hope that you're doing incredible. I have to say, when I started to get ready for your reading, Capricorn, there was this sense of, what's the point, you know? So maybe some of you are at that point at the moment, and if you are, I send you lots of love. But let's also see what guidance the universe has for you, because sometimes we feel that it's the end of the road, there's no hope, but that's the point of tarot. It shows you the way. You know, it gives you the, the potential and the possibilities for your life. General reading for 14 to 20 August. Take it as it resonates with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. Let's see what is your what is your challenge at the moment? What is your challenge for this upcoming week, Capricorn? Surrender. Letting be. Not necessarily doing anything. This can be one of the toughest things in the, in, in the world to do because when the universe asks us to embrace our high priestess energy, it is that energy where, where typically is going to say to you, you know what, it's almost like the universe says, to you, you know what, just leave this with me. It's like your angels, your guides and your guardians are saying, just leave this with me. I will help you. I'll let you come bring it together. Let's see what potential there is. Let me even and straighten this out for you. But... That is also typically the very time when we least want to sort of like do that. We almost don't believe the universe. We almost don't believe that, you know, all those guides and guardians and angels be like, you know, I don't believe in that rubbish. Maybe it doesn't even, maybe it doesn't exist, you know. Um, it's just me against the world, against the universe, against God, uh, against whatever. Maybe God doesn't even exist. I don't know. I don't care. So there's quite a lot of a sense of that happening. But... For many of you, Capricorn, a very powerful message at the moment is the quickest way to move through this challenge is to sort of get out of your own way. And I feel that for many of you, that's the biggest challenge at the moment, to get out of your own way, to surrender. You feel that you want to kind of keep your fingers on things and, and stuff like that. Um, I don't feel that you, in many ways, um, the universe has a better way for you. Just because you don't see it, doesn't mean that it's not there. And the more you try to find out what it is so that you can instigate it and you can run it and you can control it, the more distance you actually place between yourself and what it is that you might be searching for. So definitely surrender time. Definitely give the universe a chance to sort of take your breath away. All right. Let's see what is your power at the moment. What is your power? What is your strength? And what is the direct influence of that? Um, wonderful possibilities here. Um, soul family coming in. Some of you might be feeling kind of lonely, kind of on your own, even neglected by the universe. I get that, neglected by life. You know, where's my soul family? Where's my soul connections? Where's my support? And the universe want to let you know that there's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful tapestry that is created to support you and that all the support that you need is available everything that you need is available but you gotta allow it all right um i always say the universe is not going to come down it's not going to sort of come and kick your door down and say i'm here to support you come what may it's only if you allow it because we are beings of free will all right still it, it, it feels like even as i'm doing this it feels like some of you are saying you know what adrian rubbish whatever um you just want to tell us the nice stuff i ain't that type of tarot reader <laughs> you know tarot has been so watered down through the years um it's just terrible we're concerned about what is the other person doing your life is about you not the other person you get your energy balance everything will be perfectly fine trust me i've been doing this for more than 20 years um what is the influence that has brought you towards where you are at the moment so actually a lot of fear started to step in there. I can see that things worked out for you. Um, family dynamic started to work out. Life really started to work out for you in many, many, many ways. And it's almost like some of you went into a space of like, well, that is too easy. And can you even trust something if it comes about this easily? You know, maybe there's a snake in the grass here. Maybe there's something that I, that I should be looking out for and that sort of thing, you know. And... I can see that some of you, um, your 
the, the people that are sort of like surrounding you, your family, your friends, your close relatives and those people, they could have been quite severely affected by what was going on within your world, within your energy. Um, because I can see there was a time where a lot of people could really, really benefit from everything that you had, but it's almost like it took a lot of strain as a result, okay? Um, it's, there's, a, there's a sense of um, maybe equal give and take that has taken place. And I can also see, though, that in, the, in direct relation to that, some of you believe that you've lived the best of what your life is ever going to become. This was it. May have lost something or someone or maybe there's some distance between someone or a situation that was, it was like home, it was perfect, it was that. But in the same token, it was time for you Capricorn to, um, to almost like step out of the space of the safe embrace, in a space where you are kept safe, in a space where um, where no harm will come to you and stuff like that because you're being looked out for and it's not because the universe was trying to pull the carpet out from underneath you it's just because you were ready now you know like a bird that was sort of like you know um, like in a nest and you know you're getting your little worms and you're being taken care of and you get warm and whatever but now it's time for you to leave the nest and so it might feel like life is kicking you out but it's, it's it, this is really a time of a new start for you new beginnings that doesn't feel positive but it's actually quite powerfully positive so um let's see what is the potential outcome though for you going forward um For some reason, there's a feel within some of you that you have to work really, really hard to get what you want. Um, there's, a, there's a belief here that, you know, that be careful of almost carrying your pain and your past around like a medal, you know, um, because there's new ideas for wonderful things and you've got the power to pull it off. You know, I feel that for some of you, there's some self-doubt. It's almost like you are looking for... Um, permission, the go-ahead, this is like giving you the go-ahead, all right? Um, be careful of carrying your past like a medal. Oh, you don't know how difficult my life has been. If you must only know where I come from, what I experienced, what I had to go through, be careful of carrying your pain around like a medal, okay? Very careful. Um, but good news, there's a powerful new beginning here for you, amazing new beginning. New beginning that bring you all the desires of your heart. I feel that some of you were a little bit sort of, you know, off your life path, so to speak. Even though technically speaking, we never really off our life path. But you were sort of out of alignment with your highest good. Maybe some successes came there about in the past and things went really, really well, um, you know, and, and then they stopped sort of going too well. Let's see, let's clarify the recent past there for you. Um, I can see what, it, what started here for you, Capricorn. This is where we want to help everybody. We, we see somebody's got a problem, we want to help them. In money, in time, in career, in opportunities, in chances, in everything. We want to help them. And I can see for some of you, your good efforts has possibly been taken advantage of, misinterpreted, misconstrued, where instead of you maybe wanting to help others, wanting to help create a, a powerful platform for them, or opportunity just to start, it was almost like you were the one that had to do everything, you know, almost had to take um, responsibility for other person's happiness, and that took you out of alignment with your own highest good, because I can see that some of you definitely put yourself number two there in your life, but then also somebody might have come in here, message and said to mm -mm, Capricorn, mm -mm, no, 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 you know, um, the sun basically came through, the light went on, it's like, uh-uh, no, 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 no. And so it's like your soul came through and your soul was like, no, this is not what you are meant to do on this planet. There's more available for you. And so um, it's interesting because now it feels like where there might have been an influx of positive energy which was boom so big um it's almost like a bigger energy that started to come into your life now a more prosperous energy capricorn however you were more sort of ready for it now you know so um it, it didn't sort of hit you as hard 
as it initially might have. Could also be that somebody offered, you know, you their hand of love. I can feel for many of you, you may have been the one making the offer, but for many of you, um, offer of love was made for you, offer of friendship, offer of kindness. Um, beautiful. It's like, it's, it's like I, I get almost in a sense of like when you were giving physically, um, it was great. But now that you're almost like giving with your energy, it's it's more amazing, you know, it's, it's even more incredible. And for you as well, because it brings about a beautiful sense of inner peace for a while at least. And then let's see what's going on here in your current space. What is going on here? Oh, just draw one more card. Oh, okay. Um, so hard work is still paying off. Some of you are taking some steps towards more, towards new, towards different. Um, I can see you working with maybe someone else. It could be that you are doing a good thing um, in career, in life. You are doing good stuff, but it's almost like time to get some help, you know? Um, to open yourself maybe to the financial investment of someone else. Um, to someone else saying, well, let me do the dishes today. That sort of thing, you know. Let me pick up the check. Um, and I feel for many of you, there's a sense of like, no, 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 no. Uh, 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 uh. I need to do this. It's almost like some of you feel that you failed yourself in the past or you failed others or you failed as a human being or you should have known better. There's all the self-blame going about here and, you know, I just, I don't know, maybe I should just do something drastic or whatever. But I feel that you also realize and happy to let you know that as well. There's no need for drastic steps over here. It's almost by like realizing that you can do better, that the way to do better in many ways just present itself Capricorn. Okay. Definitely getting back on your path, getting back in your line, getting back in your flow, um, opening your highest good, unlocking your power. Lots of wonderful things happening for you here in your current space. So it may seem like things are really going to shut, but in actual fact, um, things are heading in a very positive direction for you. I feel that for some of you, you might be so used to things just not going your way, you know, being happy for a while and then it doesn't work out, that you almost expect negative things to happen. However, I don't see those negative things, thinking, coming to fruition, you know. Heading forward, Becoming ready to make a connection with someone else. Becoming ready to make a beautiful connection of love. Um, getting ready in the emotions to make a beautiful connection. Com love in a sense of romance, friends, family, whatever it is that makes your heart smile. You are ready to, I feel, almost like take a risk on emotions. Take a risk on love. And I see you really going for for something amazing, yes, something incredible. Let's just get some guidance over there because it does seem like it's going in a positive direction. Um, some of you may have, not necessarily that you don't want love at the moment, that you don't want companionship. You may just sort of feel almost like the time isn't right at the moment. And I feel going forward the time is more right. There's a lot of overthinking that goes along with us. A lot of overthinking that goes along with us. All right. So, and also a lot of overthinking that probably won't come to pass. Um, so, it's okay to think your thoughts, feel your feelings, have your emotions, but be very careful of your emotions, especially the negative emotions, beginning to run your life, Capricorn. Okay. So, it seems like this might be a bit of a challenging week for you. So, let's see what crystal energy you can um, keep with you to, to help you with that, um, to really help you from this point to the next point, because all of us have challenges in life sometimes. And um, I can't tell you every single week that everything's going to be great, because sometimes things are not going to be great, you know. But if that was helpful, if it resonates, like the video, remember to subscribe, remember to hit the notification bell, so you know when your weekly readings are coming out. 
And you have got a beautiful crystal of emerald, which speaks about compassion. Have compassion for yourself. Be kind towards yourself. Compassion is what is carry is what's going to carry you to the difficult periods in life. Okay. We sometimes have a lot of kindness towards other people, but not towards ourselves. The kindness that you would give to others, it's time to give that kindness to yourself. And that is how you move through the difficult period that is presenting itself to you at the moment. Because it might feel to you like you're a chicken that's trying to hatch out of like an ostrich egg, which is obviously bigger and very, very, very hard and things like that. Having compassion with yourself is one of what, what is going to sorry give you the strength required to move through the challenges. Okay, so compassion is what will give you strength. Alright. So that is what I got for you, Capricorn. Hope that it helps. Wishing you all strength and best of luck with your week ahead. Any of your interest in deep exploration of your energy, you can always book a personal reading. The details on how to do that is in the description. Definitely check out my step-by-step um, -step tarot reading course, my free oracle card reading course. Both links down below in the description. And most certainly give the regression hypnosis that's coming up on your screen at the moment. Definitely give that a chance as well. It will really help you, especially if you are very challenged at the moment because it helps to release negative energy. See you next week. Thank <laughs> you.